Hello, so we're here with our Crystals and Chakras series where you find soul healing if needed, consciousness expansion, and the joy of life. And today we're going to talk about abalone, which is an extremely powerful biocrystal, a natural solid. And it brings emotional connection. That's the general attribute. It aligns the sacral chakra. In the cardinal method, it's mostly connected to the sacral chakra. And the general attribute, the general benefit is emotional connection. So this is really powerful because many of us really don't want to connect to our emotions because some of our emotions are painful and we don't want to go through them. So we often escape our emotions, right? In many different ways. We may disdain our emotions, disqualify them, or dismiss them or compensate for not feeling our emotions with overeating or drinking too much or any kind of compulsion. So when you connect to your emotions, emotional connection, you really are healing your soul. Abalone is one of the most powerful energies in the carnal method to promote soul healing. So when it comes to emotional benefits, well, this is an emotional connection biocrystal, right? Natural solid. So all your emotions are benefited when you're in the presence of abalone. But what it does is that it brings to your life healing ocean energy. Just breathing and allowing the healing vibrations of the oceans to reach your soul and to bring healing to your emotions. And you are going to feel more depth of soul the more you connect to abalone. It just brings this calm, mature, serene depth of soul feeling. So your emotions are not all over the place. They become you become still and they become more connected to your awareness. It really is a very calming energy. It calms down your emotions, very much so. That's another emotional benefit, calming emotions. And it also is about aligning you with mother nature. So everything I'm saying is kind of the same thing because when you align with mother nature, when you connect to mother nature, you are feeling your feelings, right? You're feeling your emotions. You're giving yourself permission to connect to your own nature. Connecting to mother nature allows us to connect to our human nature and to our personal nature, to the truth of our being, which includes connecting to our emotions. So healing ocean energy, connection with mother nature, calming emotions, depth of soul, and it really is a solid, a natural solid that will encourage you to heal all your relationships. Abalone really is about healing relationships with everyone. Anything that's unfinished business that's still painful, anything that causes emotional pain, it helps heal that. Healing emotions is another. Um, healing relationships, right, is about all, uh, abalone energy too. It really does promote the healing of relationships. And it is one of the best energies to help release cruelty with self and others. Unconscious cruelty, sometimes we have that. Resentment, grudges, vengeance even. Sometimes we don't know that we are unconsciously getting back on people. Or, and this is powerful too, because it's very related to the ocean and water, this cosmic ocean that we all belong to, where we're all immersed in, right? So if someone is in vengeance mode with you, if someone is, you know, has cruel thoughts towards you, or if someone is cruel with you, or holds a grudge, or feels resentment, the more you connect to Abalone, You'll be feeling your emotions more vividly. Your soul will be healing. So your magnetic field is going to create more mild relationships in general. It starts to dissolve other people's cruelty, grudges, vengeance, and all the things that I've mentioned here. So it, it's not just about you when it comes to that. It's about the whole 
web of relationships and and those um, lower vibrations. So it's powerful in that level. It is about emotional strength. You feel strong emotionally. And if you feel strong emotionally, you will be connecting to your emotions, right? So it helps you go through emotional pain. The reason why we avoid emotions is because emotions include feeling pain. And we don't want to feel that sometimes or all the time. <laughs> so we avoid emotions in general just to avoid emotional pain. So if you feel strong emotionally, you will go through your emotional pain. The thing is, emotional pain, when not addressed, when denied, when ignored, stays there and creates inner blockages. And your inner blockages create these rigid contents in your soul that don't allow you to feel all the well-being you were born to live in and to feel. So inner blockages also create outer blockages. The moment you resolve things within, you will feel your life expanding. Everything in your outer world that is blocked is a resonance, it is a mirror image of something within. So when you dissolve your inner blockages, when you go through the pain, the only way out is through, as we know, right? As the old proverb says. So the only way out of pain is through the pain, and it's never as horrendous as we tend to think. So when you develop emotional strength, you go through the pain. And again, Often the people that most need uh, energy healing, soul healing are the ones who avoid it the most. You know, people who really need family healing, they may be arrogant about it. Ancestral healing, I don't need that. We tend to use arrogance as a defense mechanism against going through the pain. And with abalone, we also feel more compassion towards others too, right? Everyone has their own rhythm and timing. We're going to talk about that soon. So feeling emotionally strong to go through the pain, to dissolve your inner blockages, to create a better life for yourself. Dissolving inner blockages necessarily leads to dissolving outer blockages. And that's really powerful. It's also about releasing anxiety because if you feel emotionally calm remember it's about calming down your emotions that's not very compatible with anxiety right so it's one of the best crystals bio crystals to release anxiety and you will be surrendering to the flow of life a lot more when you feel emotionally stable you don't want to control everything all the time a controlling ego is an ego that belongs to a person that is probably emotionally agitated. So it's about calming down your emotions, not feeling as anxious, surrendering to the flow of life. When you know that you've done your part, everything will align. Life will answer accordingly. Some things just take a little more time. So Abalone helps you align with all that. And you also start becoming more emotionally, because you become more emotionally connected, you start developing more openness and when it comes to your emotions. You will feel your emotions a lot more. You'll be more open about expressing them. It's about emotional expression in a very calm way. You don't have to engage in intense emotions necessarily. Just own all your emotions. Become more emotionally open more open to feeling your emotions and to expressing them. That's kind of what Abalone will increasingly do in your life and create in your life. And it's also about getting out of autopilot mode. You will just be more present with yourself. Autopilot is also a defense, right, for not feeling your emotions. So. The more you connect your emotions and feel them, the less you will be in autopilot mode. And you'll become more perceptive. Your emotional perception becomes sharper. Feeling your own emotions, more perceptive about your own feelings and emotions, and also about other people's feelings and emotions too. So you start, what starts happening at the end of the day with abalone is that, and this is powerful because it is a sacral chakra aligner, right? 
it's a sacral chakra healing energy. It will promote the education, the soul education of your inner child. Because the inner child does not have the cognitive mind, it does not have a developed cognitive mind to react in a mature way to painful emotions. So the, uh, the destructive inner child feels the cruelty and the vengeance and the grudges and the resentment. It just doesn't know how to react to pain. And when you connect your emotions and you give yourself permission to feel them, your higher self is, is reaching your sacral chakra and promoting the education of your inner child through a mature mind, a calm mind, which leads us to the mental benefits of, of Abalone, right? It, it's still an emotional benefit. You become more patient with yourself. You become more patient with other people and especially regarding time. Often soul healing doesn't happen in a heartbeat. It's not a magic wand. It's a process. We go through layers. So you're patient with your own emotional processes. You're patient with other people's soul timing. And you're patient with divine timing too. Sometimes we want to rush things, but uh, indigenous cultures, right? They have this concept. Native Americans have this concept of great mystery. So... It's really about honoring that wisdom and thanking that culture for allowing us to, to see with this perspective of the beautiful rhythm of Mother Nature and the rhythm of great mystery, just trusting that everything will happen in divine timing and in alignment. So your emotions just calm down when we have that perspective. And when it comes to mental benefits, as I was saying, it's about keeping a calm mind. You develop this skill. This is something that you start training yourself and it does create results. You keep a calm mind and you start seeing beauty in all experiences. This is a higher self perspective coming to your sacral chakra, right? You start seeing beauty in everything, even the things that are not obvious. Oh, how can you say that painful experience was, has any beauty in it? you will start creating more beautiful experiences for yourself from now on, seeing beauty in your experiences of alignment and knowing that things don't have to be oh so special in a huge event to be beautiful. Your everyday life can be beautiful. Every little moment can be beautiful. And your mind starts perceiving that. It's this subtle, sophisticated ability to see beauty everywhere. And it's also about surrendering. Again, your mind stops controlling and starts surrendering to the flow of life, as I said. And then you'd start developing the ability to contemplate uniqueness, to contemplate different perspectives and variety too. So you start understanding, I am who I am. I am a unique person. And every single human being is very unique, so we cannot impose anything on anybody or perfection or any kind of idealism. You just calm down and you stop being attached to, oh, it should be that way, it should be that way. You just calm down and contemplate the variety of rhythms, the variety of emotions and different perspectives everywhere. It just, you just see the mosaic of all that beauty of life, right? The variety and the expansion and the infinity of life. Your mind starts tuning into that kind of contemplation. And it's also about releasing narrow-mindedness and rigidity of the mind, but it's mo mostly about narrow-mindedness because oceans are huge, right? They are so immense and they're so, and they connect different continents of the planet. So it's about expansion, consciousness expansion. It's awesome. And it's again, and this is powerful too. Abalone is a great bio crystal to help you release judgment. A judgmental mind creates pain, creates separation. It's not a good feeling. So it's about healthy emotions too. So your mind creates the quality of your emotions. So when you release judgment, you just relax into your higher self. And that's a great feeling, right? 
And still at a mental level, it enhances intuition big time. This is a, a shell, right? This is ocean related. So your intuition, the sacral chakra is a very creative chakra. It's a, a, a hub, a center of intuition in the body. The, the throat chakra is also creative. The third eye chakra is also creative. There are many creative chakras in the body. But the sacral chakra is about this creativity, this visceral creativity and your intuition, visceral intuition too. It's not about diffuse intuition, kind of confused, foggy. It's about strong intuition and about developing your psychic gifts and developing anything related to intuition and psychic abilities. And it's also, as I said, related to the, to the sacral chakra. So it's about creative energy, being creative and expressing your creativity and through your emotions, allowing your emotions to be expressed through creativity as well. It's a, it's a good feeling. And when it comes to physical benefits of abalone, it releases compulsions in general because you'll be connecting to your emotions. General attribute, connect to your emotions, right? Emotional connection. So then compulsion is a compensation. So it is about releasing behavior of compulsion, behavior of escapism and compensation. You know, you don't want to feel, so you numb yourself with overeating or maybe drinking or excessive medication, self-medicating, and all kinds of compensating behavior that will cause harm to your physical body. So in the long run or even in the short term. So abalone helps you to release that compulsion, escapism into other things. And as I said, autopilot, when it comes to emotional um, benefits, it's kind of like that. And especially it heals, it helps to heal overeating, using food as a way to numb your emotions. You know, there's this, this saying that says, right, I've, I've, I've heard this so many times, it's not about losing weight to feel better, it's about feeling better and as a consequence, you will stop overeating. And then you will naturally and effortlessly lose weight. The more you connect your emotions, the less you need to turn to food for anything that is not nurturing and for your health and for your pleasure in divine proportion, right? So it really does help with overeating. You stop using food as an escape mechanism and releasing compulsion in that level. It's also about relaxation. I always say that the carnal method meditations create a spa for your soul. And abalone is one biocrystal, right? Natural solid that creates this feeling of well-being. A spa for your soul, the more you connect to it, it's wonderful. So relaxation and, and well-being. And it's also great for fertility, great for pregnancy, great for childbirth. So anyone who's interested in that and who needs that energy, abalone is great for those things. Sacral chakra vibrancy, right? And it's also, again, if you want, for people who really want to dive into their physical bodies, connect your emotions for the health of your physical body. Stop using your physical body as an escape, not to feel emotions, right? If you want to turn muscle into, into something that you want to pursue in your life, to promote muscular health, to become stronger on a muscular level, to create more stronger muscles, right? Transforming fat into muscle, substituting fat for muscle, for fitness, abalone is great for that because there's a deeper emotional root cause for excessive fat and, and not such strong muscles. And then Abalone will help with that. And it's also, because this is really very strong and very resistant, this is a very strong shell, right? Um, the ancient cultures always associated abalone with strength. I talked about emotional strength, but it's also about physical strength. And what I bring to the cardinal method is research. It's not just about theoretical research and whatever 
crystal um, theory is saying, I test this empirically. I observe it in my energy healing sessions and cardinal method constellations. There are years of observation behind what I bring to you. And abalone does help with bone health and bone strength. It's just powerful for that. So on a physical level, it also benefits the bones. And if when it comes to behavior and your manifested life, abalone will encourage community, cooperation, feeling safe in environments that are full of trustworthy, loving people, finding your soul family, you know, feeling safe in a group. It's about emotional connection to beautiful hearted people. Emotional connection, releasing cruelty, releasing grudges, releasing all kinds of tumultuous emotions, right? Healthy relationships. So you start feeling like you belong to your community and you really develop more a more cooperative attitude as opposed to isolation or you know to any kind of separation and conflict it's more about cooperation than isolation and conflict and i always say that the general attribute of the crystal is like an umbrella and then we go through the emotional benefits mental benefits physical benefits but the essence of the stone, the crystal, the biocrystal, the natural solid is the spiritual energy, what we call the spiritual benefit that it brings to you. This is the seed from which every benefit unfolds. So if the general attribute of abalone is emotional connection, how can we tap into the spiritual benefit? It's this, again, Native American wisdom concept of feeling is healing you feel and you heal soul healing is about feeling your emotions soul healing may be about feeling the emotions of your ancestors or the layer of consciousness of your parents that are on your cell that are really infused in your cells right we talk a lot about this in the carnal method so feeling is healing this is the spiritual benefit the more you feel, the more you heal. This is powerful, ancient, very, very powerful wisdom. So if you have the crystal, if you have the presence, the material, physical presence of the crystal, your experience will be complete, right? Because this video brings you a lot of knowledge, a lot of information. So your relationship with the crystal is going to be totally different. You've expanded your consciousness. You know what the crystal means. It's not just about a piece of decoration, right? Or, or just creating physical beauty as jewelry. It's about a, a soul connection and crystals have so much to teach us and bring to our lives on a soul level. So this video is about bringing this information and the carnal method meditations are the spa for your soul, the cellular alignment, the blueprint, the energetic blueprint of the cells receiving carnal method healing with the guided meditations and the time you give yourself to just nurture yourself with that self-care. But I always bring three practices with crystals that if you have the physical stone, it's powerful because you don't really need the crystals for the meditations. You can just visualize the stone to benefit from the carnal method meditation. But these three practices are about having the presence of the physical crystal in your experience. So what would be the first practice that I suggest? Wear abalone jewelry, just have it near your body. Feeling is healing, emotional connection. So wear abalone jewelry. This is a, an abalone ring. I hope you can see it in this light. Abalone earrings here. These are abalone earrings, so, so lovely. Iridescent, right? Just so beautiful. I love this. I want you to enjoy the beauty of this amazing abalone energy. This is also abalone. Sometimes they enhance the purple. There's natural purple abalone, but sometimes they enhance it with dye. I have zero prejudice with enhancing colors and crystals because sometimes for soul healing, we need a very specific hue. And sometimes nature doesn't give us that. So I'm fine with 
dyeing to create dyeing the, the crystal, right? To create beauty or to create more intensity, saturation for soul healing purposes. The, the vibrational frequency of each color hue is really precise in the carnal method. So I really have no problem with that. This is a very old Avalon shell that I have. See how beautiful and lovely it is. This is a larger one. Look. Mm. Beautiful, right? So what is the first practice? Wear abalone jewelry. What's the second practice? It's really easy. Just have it in your environment. You'll be benefiting from everything we've talked about now that you have the consciousness even more so right because the presence of crystals will do what i what i'm telling you here what crystal theory will tell you regardless of your awareness but when you have the awareness it's way more powerful so just have it in your environment to benefit from emotional connection feeling is healing powerful, very beautiful. And the third practice is actually a cardinal method treatment. And the cardinal method practices last from one to three to 10 minutes tops. This is a three minute practice that I'm going to teach you. So you're going to lie down and you're going to get abalone. It could be an abalone shell like that, or it could be, you know, a piece of jewelry if you don't have the, the big shell. And you're going to have clear quartz. Clear quartz in the carnal method is the master crystal to create a connection with your higher self. Clear quartz is higher self connection. So for this practice, you're going to lie down and you're going to place abalone on your sacral chakra and clear quartz with it uh, inside the shell or if you have a, a smaller piece, just one next to the other. Because abalone is going, what's the purpose of this? Abalone is going to encourage you to feel your emotions, to create emotional connection, right? Feeling is healing as we, we've talked about. And when you start feeling your visceral emotions in the sacral chakra, your inner child, as I said, does not have the tool of the cognitive mind to understand from an adult perspective, from a mature perspective, what's going on. So when you have clear quartz with abalone on your sacral chakra, your higher self is going to be educating your inner child, is going to be anchoring higher wisdom. You'll be able to guide yourself into feeling your emotions without flipping out, without going into intense reactions. Immediately, the interaction between abalone and clear quartz creates an integration and understanding. You resignify your emotional pain and it becomes strength for you. So this is a powerful cardinal method practice that I'm really happy to teach you here. I hope everything that we've talked about in this video brings wonders to your life, that it really creates powerful and benign shifts for you. Hopefully you'll be creating a lot of amazing new life experiences from this and I will see you soon.